I covered the Vietnam War for 13 years. I won a Pulitzer Prize. I covered Gulf Wars 1 and 2 from Baghdad, and now I'm teaching students in China to do the same thing. I'm Peter Arnett, and I'm in Saigon, 2009. I first came to Saigon 47 years ago as a young reporter for the Associated Press, and I stayed at the Caraval for several months, but a lot has changed now. John, how are you? Peter, good to see you here. Welcome, welcome to the new Caravel. We opened this 11 years ago at the same time we renovated the old, uh, the original Caravel. What seems to be a very comfortable restaurant. It is, it's our fine dining restaurant, it's called Reflections, and the reason for that is that we've got photos of original Saigon. It's a great memory to, to walk around and just have a look at the old city. Well, these were the preserves of the uh, American television networks, because this was the first television war in journalism history. So they put enormous resources oh. into, into coverage. The dimensions of these suites are the same, but they look very differently in the, in the 1960s. This beautiful furniture, there'd be a bench here with editing machines, cameras, video, plus you had the visuals. You could look out on the city, you know, in Saigon, in those days, there were none of these very tall buildings. You could almost see to the airport. The waterways have always been an important part of Saigon business and culture. So what better way to see the modern city than going on the river? I notice here that it looks just like it did you know, 30 or 40 years ago, but I am told that there's a new city being built. Actually, I think it's a bit sad because it's really nice to see all this screeny, lush things here. I, I love it. I mean, as you said, nothing changed this side <laughs> yet. So in reality, how likely are these plans to be implemented? I think it, will, it really will happen. I mean, you see it every day, how they develop the city. But I can imagine these 100 years from now, some historians saying, look, they had the dream of creating this place. Saigon South, the model suburb. Is this the new face of Vietnam? I'm trying to discover the new Saigon in this model suburb. Well, you've came to the right place. What does your family think about you being here? My family's old school generation, so they want me to stay, get a proper, more education, become a doctor, a lawyer. So they're not too happy about it, actually. So what but, are you doing here, riding a motorcycle around? Doing what? You know, I'm getting wet, first of all, <laughs> but living in Vietnam is great. It's, uh, I've learned more in the year that I've lived here than in the four years of university. And it is a great learning curve for you, just on your own and uh, in a developing country and I feel like it's making me a better person. I can see myself here for the next 10 years. Do you know many who have come? Our generation is, uh, we're not really sure what we want to do, and uh, the current economic conditions are not giving us very many options. You need a ride? Uh, no, not right now. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good yeah. to see you. My, the staff, hello. What a surprise. I'm a professor of journalism at Shantou University. I brought 10 students to Vietnam in 2007. We traveled from the north to the south. My idea of teaching journalism is to teach practical journalism. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, wonderful. Great seeing you here. And I'm here with Robert Wiener, my colleague of many years. What do you think of the city today? Well, uh, I'm just uh, amazed by the, uh, the changes, both uh, architecturally and, uh, and certainly uh, the attitude of the people. And, uh, and uh, the biggest change, of course, is uh, it's just so wonderful to see this country at peace. Thing I was reading in the paper, and I don't know if it's true or not, that because there's been so much progress, uh, if you want to call building skyscrapers progress, that there is a movement to stop building above a certain level to preserve the architectural heritage. So I think a lot of this Saigon will be still here, you know, 20, 30 years from now. But it'd be tragic if they simply destroyed the landmarks here, create new ones. This place still has a magical power that just sort of tugs at my heart, and I don't think it'll ever go away, ever. This is Peter Arnett on the roof of the Caraval, along with my colleague Robert Wiener, Signing off, Saigon 2009.
Last night I, I went uh, crawling around this city and uh, ambled back to the hotel about 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> and, I, and I can assure you that uh, you can still have a great time here. <laughs>